All right, guys, so here is a simple trading strategy that you can use and make up to five or $10,000 per month. After using this strategy, you will be able to pass your challenges. You will be able to like, you know, make consistent profits every single month and you will be confident in every single trade you take. This is literally all you're going to need for 2024 and the upcoming years. All right, so let's start with the video. So the very first thing that you need to know is that whenever a swing low or a swing high forms on a daily time frame, we can identify the daily bias of up to like 90% of the time. All right. So number one rule of the strategy is that we have to identify the swing high or a swing low on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, whenever a swing low or swing high forms, we can then identify the daily bias. So I will teach you how to identify a daily bias in that way. And I will also teach you a trading strategy that you can use with this technique. Because the thing is, I can teach you, you know, how to find daily bias, but you can still lose trades. So to, to avoid that, you need to know what are the right ways to take a trade when your bias is correct. All right, you can take a trade even though your bias is correct and you can still lose. So we have to avoid that. So now here's a technique that I use and ICT taught this method. It's, it's called high probability scalping. Uh, I think it was from his series, one of his trading series. And he said that whenever a swing low or swing high is formed, you can basically mark out the high. In this scenario, you can see we have a swing low, right? We have this candle, this candle, and this candle. The, the, th the second candle is the lowest, right, with the wick. So, and once the swing low is formed on the daily time frame, what we have to do is then number two step is that we mark out the high of the third candle. So this is the first candle, this is the second candle, and this is the third candle. Now, in this case, when a swing low is formed, we have to mark out the high of that third candle. Now, 80 to 90% of the time, the next candle that opens on the daily time frame, it's going to take out the high of that third candle. Now, this is going to happen at an 80% accuracy level. And it's going to happen every single time, guys. All right. The accuracy is very, very high. But the main thing is you need to know where you should be entering and what are the rules that you should be following in order to take the trades. All right. And I'm going to teach you exactly that. So number one, number one step is identify a swing high or a swing low, right? In this case, we have a swing low. Once a swing low forms on the daily time frame, you have to mark out the high of the third day, right? So this is the third candle. We mark out the high. And from there onwards, what we do have to wait is wait for the, the 12 a.m. New York time open. So that is going to be the algorithmic open that is the 12th now on the next day you mark out the opening price which is going to be the you know the 12 a.m right here and below the below the opening price right so below the opening price of the candle that opens the next day you have to look for a liquidity sweep below the opening price in this case all right so, or instead of a liquidity sweep you have to mark out a pd array so in this case, that would be a discount error because we should be looking to, to, to long the position after a price goes below the opening price or to sweep liquidity or into some fair value gap or an auto block. So this is the opening price, right? So let me just mark this out like that. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So this is this is right here is the opening price, all right, at 12. And below the opening price, we have to look for, you know, some sort of a fair value gap. So there could be a fair value gap or there could be a liquidity, right? It could be any high or low down here. So let me just do this. Perfect. So there could be some form of liquidity here. So now you have to look for this on the five minute or 15 minute time frame. So after the opening price, you have to drop down to five minute or 15 minute time frame. I usually go for 15 minute because it is more like accurate. So on the 15 minute, let's say that price then goes out and takes out the liquidity below the opening price. After that, all you have to look for is a market structure shift. 
And once you get the market structure shift, all you're looking for is to take your entry from the auto block. So there could be an auto block just right here, right? And you can then simply go long from here, put your stop here, and then you target the high of that third candle, which is going to be this. So that is going to give you like a very good risk to reward ratio. Now, sometimes what can happen is before the opening price, before the algorithmic opening price. So usually a candle opens at 16, right? But the algorithmic ICT opening price is 12, which is this. And sometimes price can already take out the high. In that case, the setup would be invalid. We have to wait till the algorithmic opening price, which is the 12 a.m. midnight, all right? New York time. And afterwards, we have to look for a liquidity sweep or a price goes into some form of a 15 minute fair value gap or an auto block. And from there onwards, and make sure price goes below the opening price, right? And there is a PDRA or a liquidity level that gets swept or price goes into it. And afterwards, you look for a market structure shift. After you get the market structure shift, you are simply looking to take your entry. And the next thing you know that this high is taken out 80 to 90 percent of the time. I wouldn't say 90 percent, but 80 to 85. So um, let me just flip the chart over like that. So in the same scenario, you would get a swing high over here. So we have a swing high, right? And once the swing high is formed, you mark out the low of the third candle. Once you have the low of the third candle marked out, you have to then wait for the next candle to open and then you mark out the opening price, the algorithmic opening price, which is going to be the 12 a.m. New York time. And basically from here onwards, what you have to do is look for a liquidity sweep above the opening price in this case. OK, so in this case, you will look for a liquidity sweep or a price to go into some form of fairly gap on an auto block above the opening price. So this is the opening price price goes up takes out some form of liquidity, right? Or it goes into some form of fairly gap or inefficiency, whatever you want to call it. Afterwards, what do you have is you have like a market structure shift on the 15 minute or in some cases, five minute time frame if the price action is not clean. Now, from there onwards, all you have to do is look for a market structure shift. And from there onwards, you can try to take your entry. Now, to increase the win rate even more, what, you, what I can suggest is look for a swing high and lows formation after, uh, after a price hits a key level on the daily time frame. So that could be, you know, some form of liquidity level, could be a swing, another high price takes out, and afterwards a swing high is formed, or it can go basically into a auto block or a fair value gap on the daily time frame, then this forms, but it is not necessary. You can look for any swing high and low formation. And afterwards, what you can do is just follow the steps that I'm teaching you right here. Now, since you know what you have to do, I will give you some guys some examples and I'll give you detailed examples and then you will be able to understand each and everything correctly. So let's move on to the examples now. All right, guys, before moving on to the examples, I want to talk about the Blue Guardian Pro Firm. Honestly, it is the best Pro Firm out there. I have tried so many other Pro Firms, but I think this is the best one. Now, by using the link in the description down below, you can get up to 10% off. And the good thing that I like about this Pro Firm is that there are literally no negative reviews. All right. And I've tried them myself they, they are literally the best and and they get they got this like this rapid evaluation program where you only need to pass the challenge once so once you hit like the 10 percent profit mark you get the entire account to yourself you don't have to pass the phase two and their prices are actually one of the best as well so make sure you click the link in the description down below and by using that link right and signing up you will get up to 10 percent off on your next purchase so now let's move on to the examples now all right everybody so here is example number one and i'm looking at aud jpy on the daily time frame of course and over here what you can see is that we have a swing high formation. So we have this candle and the second candle It is the highest and the third candle. Now, once the third candle closes, all you have to do is mark out the low of that third candle. Now, from here onwards, what you have to do is that let me go ahead and show you that, of course, this was taken up, but how you would have entered on the next day. So if I drop down like to the five minute time frame, right? So if I go back in time a bit, you can see that this was the low that we marked out right now on the next day, you can see that we have this opening price, right? 
and our draw on liquidity, which is the third candle low, is marked out right here. And let me just turn this off from here. Okay, so the opening price, which is the 12 a.m., right? We have to mark out the opening price of that candle. So that is here, right here. Now, look at this. Above the opening price, we have to mark out a fair value gap. So over here, what do we have? We have this fair value gap, right? And what do we also have is that we have this swing high formation. So that is a liquidity level that was also swept. Perfect. Now, once it is swept, all you have to look for is a market structure shift. So we have a market structure shift here. And also we have this break of structure here as well. Now, once that was that has happened, we have this fair value gap here now. So this would have been your entry. So you would have gone short right here. Your stop would go right above this high and you could have targeted the draw on liquidity, which was this. So this would have given you a very high risk to reward ratio. Of course, it is not going to be high that like every single time, but you can get the idea how beautiful the strategy is. Look at this price delivery. Here, the sell program was active and every single PD array was respected. So uh, yeah, guys, let me show you some other examples and then I will end the video. All right, everyone. So here is another example. I'm looking at USD CHF on the daily time frame, And over here, what you can see is that if I go just around here, we have a swing low formation. So we have this candle, this and this. The second candle is the lowest. And once the swing low is formed, we just mark out the high of the third candle. So this right here is a third candle of the swing low, or you can say the final candle. Now, once you have the you have marked out the high, what you have to do is drop down to five minute or 15 minutes time frame, right? And you have to wait for the, so let me just remove this. You have to wait for the opening price on the next day. So if I keep going, so over here, what do we have? We have the opening price. So 12 a.m. New York time, remember that. So I mark out the opening price. And now what I'm looking for is I'm marking out the PD areas below the opening price. So we have this fair value gap. So I'm going to keep this fair value gap in mind. Now, if I play this through, you can see that price went into this, but we didn't have any market structure shift, right? Now price goes ahead and takes out these equal lows here. So that is perfect. Now, all we're looking for is a market structure shift. We are below the opening price, right? And just around maybe here. Okay, perfect. So around here, what do we have? We have a market structure shift. Now, once we have a market structure shift, I'm literally just marking out the fair value gap in the discount on the 15 minute time frame, taking my entry from here, putting my shop right below the slow and my target level is going to be this high over here. And you can see the risk to reward ratio on this trade. And of course, it's not going to happen every single time. But this is the high of the, you know, the third candle. So if I play this through, you'll see we get our entry. And afterwards, of course, the news help, right? But you can see that the, the take profit level was hit. A very beautiful delivery to the upside and the take profit level was hit. And of course, this is not gonna happen every single time, guys, but um, you can see 25 risk reward. Imagine you took this trade on your funded account, my bad. So imagine you took this trade on your funded account. You'd be like going crazy, right? But of course, you would be going break even along the way. You would be taking probably partials along the way. Um, all I would suggest is sometimes go for one to two risk reward only. Don't always target this level because, um, you know, the quicker you take your profits, the better. And the thing is that this strategy has a very high win rate. So with one to two risk reward every single time, you will be consistently profitable. Let me give you guys one more example and then I will end the video. All right, everybody. So here is the last example. I'm looking at GBP JPY on the daily, of course. And over here, we can see is that we have a swing high over here. So we have this candle, this candle, and this candle. The second candle is the highest, right? And then we mark out the low of the third candle. Now you can clearly see that we just took out the low. So let's study what happened here. Because if I go to the 15 minute time frame, 
you can clearly see that let me just move this so you can see that this is the low of that third candle right so the algorithmic open is at 12 new york time right here this candle right so this is going to be the opening price so we have to look for a liquidity sweep or for price to go into some form of you know a fair value gap and auto block so over here you can see that price goes above takes out this high takes out this level right and yeah so it goes out and takes out this entire buy side liquidity afterwards what we are looking for is a market structure shift so what happens right after price takes out the liquidity we clearly see a beautiful market structure shift and always wait for a body closure so when a body closes that's like a confirmed market structure shift now here you can see that we have a very tiny fair value gap but we have a redelivered rebalanced price and this is a breakaway gap breakaway gap now i wish i could explain each and everything in one video but whenever there is a redelivered rebalanced price over here the fair value gap will not be hit so what exactly is a you know a redelivered rebalanced price so you can see that we had a push down and push up and then the next candle it is like literally it closes and this is like a third candle three candle pattern right i will not go into detail but this is like you have to wait for the push down push up and then literally a push down a bearish candle right here and the third candle is also it also closes here and then you can see that if you mark this out like that and like th this is basically just like fair value gap but i mean i do not want to get into more detail on this but you can clearly see that it was not hit because it was a um it was a breakaway gap i'll make a video on this sometime sooner but you can also see that we had like this inverse fair value gap here and that was hit beautifully and you would have gone like short just around my bad just around here you could have put your stop right above this high and you could have gone for this 1.79 is absolutely fine you could have just decreased this till you get one to two so that would be it guys uh if you are looking for a challenge passing service so basically um, I have a service where I can pass your prop form challenge. If you want to know more about this, there is a link to the Discord in the description. Once you join the Discord server, you will get all the information related to my challenge passing service. I will and my team will pass the entire challenge for you. So make sure to check that, check that out as well. The link is in the description. All right, guys, I will see you guys the next Sunday. And I'll try to maybe explain the breakaway gap and the redelivered rebalance price thing that I was about to teach you right here. But the video would have gone so long. So uh, I really hope you guys try the strategy out and I guarantee you it's going to work out for you. Trust me. See you guys.